the C chord. I'm here to give you insight on playing the open C chord. And previously we talked about the sixth string, the fifth string, the fourth, third, second, and first. And the C chord is going to be um, mostly focusing on the fifth string down. And we're going to um, start by forming the C chord with our index finger. And by placing our index finger on the second string first fret. And one thing to keep in mind is keep your hand close to the bottom of the fretboard with this particular chord, the way your hand wraps second around string, it. Second so string, first fret. You'll bring your middle finger up to the fourth string, second fret. And you'll bring your ring finger up to the fifth string, third fret. And from the fifth string down, five, four, three, two, one, that's going to give you an open C chord. So once again, index finger, second string, first fret, middle finger, fourth string, second fret, and then your ring finger up on the third fret of the fifth string. And these fingers are going to give you a lot of problems if this is the first time you've ever attempted to play the C chord. Because you have a lot of, you know, arching going on with these fingers. There's a lot of, you know, curve and camber to them. So one thing to keep in mind is really keep that palm pressed up against the bottom of the neck. Wrap your thumb around if you can and kind of see if you can get those fingers to fall into place with your index finger on the second fret of the, of the first fret of the second string. You'll have your middle finger up here on the fourth string second fret and your ring finger up on the 3rd fret, 5th string. I find this chord shape extremely important. It's in countless songs. It moves its way up the guitar neck. It's just going to be invaluable. And, you know, as the guitar neck opens up, this C shape, it'll just pay you back in dividends. Even your grandkids will benefit, you know, from you being a guitar crusher. So, you know, I don't really know anything about investing. So dividends and all that crap, I don't know what I'm talking about. So, you know, once again, some of the problems that you're going to have with this chord is getting all of these fingers to just lay on the fretboard and give you a perfect shape. So it's gonna take a while. And some of the things that you can do with this chord is you can just start with your index finger and play these bottom three strings. That's a C triad, you're still getting. And then you can bring your middle finger in up on the second fret of the fourth string. And then start adding your ring finger to the 5th string, 3rd fret. And you might notice that I have my elbow pointing right, right at my ribs here, so my, my arm is coming out at an angle. So my hand just fits perfectly right on the, on the guitar there. And this is a good chord once you get it to ring out with some of the, uh, the pick demonstration that I was talking about earlier in the video. C chord. Get it under your belt. In the previous videos we talked about E minor, E major. So now I'm moving on to the C chord, baby. Index finger, second string, first fret, middle finger, fourth string, second fret and your ring finger up on the fifth string of the third fret and all of the strings 
should cleanly and clearly just ring like a bell.